welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, still suffering with my throat, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Okay, where am I taking you to today? Well, I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Mary I. So on this day in Tudor history, the 24th of January, 1555, a great joust was held at Westminster between English and Spanish knights. Merchant tailor and citizen of London, Henry Machen, who I absolutely love, I love his diary, recorded it in his diary, writing, the 24th day of January, there were great running at the tilt at Westminster with spears, both Englishmen and Spaniards. Now, there were Spaniards there because Queen Mary I had married Philip of Spain, son of Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, in July 1554. And Philip had obviously brought Spaniards over to England with him. Philip was a keen sportsman, but he also, as historian David Lodes pointed out in his book Intrigue and Treason, the Tudor Court, wanted to build bridges between his Spanish household and the English aristocracy, particularly as there was some rather anti-Spanish feeling in London at the time and trouble between Spaniards and Englishmen. Mary may have rallied the citizens of London against Wyatt and his men earlier that year, but that didn't mean that her marriage to Philip was popular with her people and courtiers. Machen recorded in his diary that on the 26th of October 1554, a Spaniard was hanged at Charing Cross for killing a servant of Sir George Gifford by Temple Bar. And on the 4th of November 1554, there was a great fray at Charing Cross at eight of the clock at night between the Spaniards and Englishmen, the which, through wisdom, there were but few hurt. And what better way to bring Spaniards and English courtiers together than sports like jousting? On the 18th of December 1554, Machen recorded that there was a great triumph at the court gate by the king and diverse lords, both Englishmen and Spaniards, the which the king and his company were in goodly harness and upon their arms goodly jerkins of blue velvet and hose embroidered with silver and blue sarsenet. And so they ran on foot with spears and swords at the tournay and with drums and flutes in white velvet drawn out with blue sarsenet. And there were 10 against the king and his company there were 18 in other colours. However, there was more trouble to come. On New Year's Day 1555, some insolent and drunk Spaniards caused great uproar with some whores in the cloisters of Westminster Abbey. They'd left other Spaniards guarding the passageway while they had their fun, and there was violence when the Dean's men encountered them. John Stripe records... Some of the dean's men happened now to come into the cloister, at whom these Spaniards discharged their pistols and wounded some of them, whereat began a fray. A Spanish friar gets presently into the church and rings the bell for alarm. This caused all the street together, and much blood had like to have been spilt, but the tumult at length ceased, and no more harm done than the great fright and disturbance which it occasioned. Phew! But eight days later, Henry Machen recorded that certain Spaniards killed an Englishman basely. Two held him, while one thrust him through, and so he died. So the 24th of January jousts were important for bringing the two sides together. David Lowes also notes that Philip honoured the nuptials of one of his English chamberlains, Lord Strange, with a tournament, banquet, mask and juego de cañas, in which he participated. This was a diplomatic move from Philip, showing that he was making an effort with the English courtiers. By the way, I looked up Juego de Cañas, or Game of Canes, and it appears to be a sport where teams on horseback threw cane javelins at each other. The riders had to dodge or deflect these javelins, a bit different to jousting. Philip himself was also recorded as running at the tilt against other Spaniards on the 19th of March, probably practising for the big joust organised for Lady Day, the 25th of March, which Machen also recorded. 
the 25th day of March, the which was Our Lady Day. There was as great jousts as you have seen at the tilt at Westminster. The challengers was a Spaniard and Sir George Howard, and all their men and all their horses trimmed in white. And then came the king and a great many all in blue and trimmed with yellow, and their helmets with great tufts of blue and yellow feather, and all their whifflers and their footmen and their armourers and a company like Turks rode in crimson satin gowns and capes, and with falchions and great targets, and some in green, and many of diverse colours, and there was broken two hundred staffs and above. Wow, that must have been a wonderful sight. So English and Spanish relations could be difficult at times, but it appears that Philip of Spain tried his best to bring the two sides together in fun events. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 24th of January 1536, the 44-year-old King Henry VIII had a jousting accident at Greenwich Palace. I'll give you a link to my video from last year to find out more about that accident and what the contemporary sources said about it. Thank you for joining me today. You can click round about there, big subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. You can give me a like and leave a comment and you can also hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.